here's a look at a dozen common problems you might come across when using Windows 8, and how to fix them. Number 1. Refresh your PC. If Windows 8 seems to be a little sick, try refreshing it. While installing a fresh copy of itself, Windows 8 saves your user account, your personal files, your apps downloaded from the Windows Store, and some of your most important settings. To refresh your PC, open the Charms bar and click the Settings icon. Click Change PC Settings, then click the word General from the PC Settings screen's left edge. Scroll down the right side of the PC Settings screen's General section. When you reach the section called Refresh Your PC Without Affecting Your Files, click the Get Started button. Click Next to start the refresh process. If asked, insert your Windows 8 disk, flash drive, or whatever else you use to first install Windows. Then click the Refresh button, and Windows 8 refreshes your PC. Number 2. Remove Everything if you're having issues with your PC and nothing else seems to be able to cure it, removing everything may do the trick. It also wipes away your personal data, however, so it's perfect if you decide to give your PC away or donate it to charity. To remove everything from your PC, open the Charms bar and click the Settings icon. Click Change PC Settings, then click General. Scroll down the right side of the screen. When you reach the section Remove Everything and Reinstall Windows, click the Get Started button. If asked, insert your Windows 8 disk, flash drive, or whatever else you used to first install Windows. Click Next and choose how you want to remove your personal files. You can either just remove your files or fully clean the drive, which removes all your data and then scrubs the hard drive extra clean. Make your selection and wait for the process to finish, or click Cancel to return to the PC settings screen. Number 3. Restore Backups with File History File History is Windows 8's new backup program. It emphasizes saving your own data, not your apps and programs. To keep your files safe, File History automatically makes a copy of every file in your documents, music, photos, and videos libraries. It copies all the files on your desktop as well. And File History automatically makes those copies every hour. To browse through your backed up files and folders, restoring the ones you want, go to your desktop and open the folder containing the items you'd like to retrieve. Click the Home tab on the ribbon, then click the History button. Here you see what's been backed up. Choose what you'd like to restore. Move forward or backward in time to find the version you'd like to restore. Then click the Restore button, and the item is placed back in the place where it used to live. If Windows notices a naming conflict with the item you're trying to restore, File History gives you three ways to handle it. You can replace the file in the Destination folder if you're sure the other file is better than your current one. Choose Skip this file if you don't want to restore the file or folder. This option returns you to File History, where you can browse other files. You can also choose the file to keep in your Destination folder, which is often the best choice because you can select the file you want to keep, or keep both of them, but with different names. To exit File History, just close the window. Number 4. Restore from a Restore Point to send your PC back to a restore point when it was working much better, right-click the bottom left corner of any screen and choose System from the pop-up menu. Click System Protection, and then click System Restore. Click the Next button and choose a listed restore point. Click the Scan for Affected Programs button to see how your chosen restore point will affect programs. Click Next to confirm your chosen restore point, then click Finish. Number 5. Retrieve Deleted Files The Windows 8 File History Backup Program can be a lifesaver, but if you never turned it on, there's another way to retrieve your deleted files, the Recycle Bin. Just open the Recycle Bin, and you'll find every file or folder you've deleted within the past few weeks. 
To restore a file from the recycle bin, right-click it and choose Restore. Number 6. Fix your settings. Sometimes you want to return to the way things were before you started messing around with them. And that's why Windows 8's desktop offers the Restore Default button. With the click of a button, your settings return to the way they were originally. There are a few Restore Default buttons you may find very useful. Every folder's navigation pane lists your libraries. But if one of your libraries is missing, you can put it back. Just right-click the word Libraries and choose Restore Default Libraries. From the desktop, you can right-click a blank part of the taskbar and choose Properties. Then click the Customize button and choose the words Restore Default Icon Behaviors. In Internet Explorer, click the Tools icon and choose Internet Options from the drop-down menu. Click the Advanced tab and click the Reset button. This action wipes out nearly everything, including your toolbars, add-ons, and search engine preference. Only your favorites, feeds, and a few other items remain. Windows 8 hides a slew of switches relating to folders, their navigation panes, the items they show, how they behave, and how they search for items. To return them to their default settings, open any folder and click the View tab on the ribbon menu along the top. Click the Options icon, and when the drop-down list appears, click Folder and Search Options. You can find a Restore Defaults button on each tab, General, View, and Search. Number 7. Move Missing Items Back to a Folder If you open a folder and notice something's missing, or don't see anything at all, there are a few things you can try. Check the search box. Whenever you type something into a folder search box, that little box near the folder's top right corner, Windows 8 begins looking for it by hiding everything that doesn't match your search. Clearing the search box makes sure nothing is hidden. If everything's really gone, check out the previous versions of that folder with Windows 8's new file history backup program. Number 8. Fix mouse issues. Sometimes the mouse doesn't work at all. Other times, the mouse pointer hops across the screen like a flea. If no mouse pointer is on the screen after you start Windows, make sure your mouse is plugged snugly into the PC's USB port. Sometimes unplugging the mouse and plugging it into a different USB port on your computer fixes the problem. If you own a cordless mouse, the little guy probably needs new batteries. Number 9. Turn single clicks back into double clicks. If you're not satisfied with the click method Windows currently uses, change it. Just open any folder from the desktop, choose the View tab, click the Options icon, and choose Change Folder and Search Options. When the Folder Options window appears, look for the Click Items as Follows section and choose your Click Preference. Click OK to save it. Number 10. Fix a frozen program. Eventually, one of your programs will freeze up solid, leaving you no way to reach its normal close command. To fix it, hold down the Control key, the Alt key, and the Delete key at the same time. Select the Start Task Manager option, and then click the Processes tab. Right-click the frozen program's name, and then choose End Task. Number 11. Fix a frozen PC. When nothing on screen moves, the PC is frozen up solid. There are a few things you can try to get it back up and running. Press Escape twice. If that doesn't work, press Control, Alt, Delete simultaneously and click the power icon in the bottom right corner. Choose Restart from the pop-up menu and your PC will shut down and restart hopefully returning in a better mood. If the previous approaches don't work, turn off the PC by pressing its power button. If you keep holding the power button for long enough, it eventually stops resisting and turns off. Number 12. Run older programs on Windows 8. Windows has a secret compatibility mode. 
It tricks programs into thinking that they're running under their favorite older version of Windows, letting them run in comfort. If your old program has problems with Windows 8, right-click it and choose Properties. Click the Compatibility tab, and then click the Run Compatibility Troubleshooter button. Select the Run This Program in Compatibility Mode checkbox, and then select the program's desired Windows version from the drop-down list. Click OK, and then try running your program again to see whether it works better.